Hello, my fellow fans of Faerun, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, the core campaign. Alright guys, I'm really excited now. We are on the last chapter of the core campaign. And after I'm done with this, I'm hoping to finish this up this week sometime. But once I'm done here, I can either start playing the next campaign, um, or I can move on to Neverwinter Nights 2 and play the core campaign in that... Alternatively, we could go back a generation. I could start playing some of the second edition games. Uh, the one that's leading my list at the moment is the Planescape game. Uh, but yeah, so uh, if you have a preference or if you know of any other D&D games that uh, might look good, I'll look into them. And we'll see what we'll do starting uh, probably next week or the week after. Um, but Lord Nasher keeps talking to me, so let's get into today's game. Greetings, I am Lord Nasher. Yes, I know who you we are. We meet again. As you know, I am Nasher Alagonda, Lord of Neverwinter. I was once an adventurer like you, though that was long ago. And soon you'll be Picard. Erin Gend tells me you have done much in the defense of our city. For this I thank you, though I fear it was all in vain. Uh-huh. Erebeth knows our defenses too well. We could not stand against her forces. The enemy has breached our walls. All is lost. So... Why haven't you just gone and smacked her in the face? Do not give up hope, my lord. We still have the words of power, after all. And what good has that done, Erin? We have no way to use them. Whatever magic is locked within those stone tablets is of no use to us. Perhaps Hadrilene will reveal their secret to us, if you release her from the dungeons. I don't trust that creature, Erin, and neither should you. We have done her no harm. If she was truly our ally, she would tell us what she knows. Not if you imprison her. Hadrilene told us about the secret door beneath Castle Never. Without her, we would never have found the Source Stone. And what good has that done, Erin? That creature won't tell us anything about it. The Source Stone is as useless to us as the words of power. Perhaps Hadrilene will speak to our champion. She has spoken with them before. Enough, Erin. Now, if you want to speak to Hadrilene, you are free to do so. But I will not release her from the dungeon while an enemy is within our city gates. Personally, I think this is all a waste of time. Words of power, the Source Stone, Hadrilene. What good is this against Erebeth's army? Our fate is sealed. We are all doomed. Yes, because all powerful magical items cannot help against an army. Uh, let's just hope that, you know, this weapon isn't a sphere of annihilation or something. That you can just go, go that way and destroy the army. But no, no. Useless artifacts. I should be going now. Of course, of course. But before you go, maybe Gend is right. Maybe you should go speak to this Hadrilene creature. I was gonna do that anyways. I doubt it will do much good, but maybe, just maybe, she knows something that can save us. We're desperate after all. Yeah, you turn to me. Any important information you come across should be reported directly to Erin Gend. I've placed him in charge of the defense of the city. Okay, I'll tell him when I clean up some messes. Alright, well, let's not talk to Aaron. Eh, let's talk to Aaron. I like him. He's a good guy. These are indeed dark times. Though not so dark as Lord Nasher portrays them. The people of Neverwinter are made of sterner stuff than any of us imagine. But if Neverwinter is to survive, we must all play our part. My place is here by Lord Nash's side. I must oversee every aspect of the defense of the city. And your own part is one you know all too well. You must save Neverwinter once more. Though how you might accomplish this, I cannot say. Perhaps the creature Hadrilene knows something of this. Okay, with that, I'll go talk with her. Thank you. You should speak to Hadrilene before you go. Maybe she will tell you something about the Source Stone or the words of power. I was going to do that. My instincts tell me that she is the key if Neverwinter is to be saved. And I have learned to trust my instincts. And I have learned to trust keys. Ah, 
Alright, well, so if I wanted to, I could loot some of this castle stuff. I think this is supposed to be an entrance room for uh, the Roy for nobles and such. So, I don't really want to break into their stuff. Is this leading outside? It is. Dang it. Alright, let me go to the dungeons. I wanted to talk to Hadrilene before I go outside. There's the dungeon door, right next to the throne room. Hello, Hadrilene. I have been waiting for you. These other warm bloods are weak. I do not trust them. They're also kind of whiny. They are weak. Like the ones you call Arabeth and Morgrim. They cannot stand against the creators. Now that Morag stirs within the Source Stone, Morgrim has unlocked the magic of the words of power. The old ones awake, and the world you know shall be no more. Eh, but the words are safe here in the castle. Three of the words are here in this castle. But there are four words of power in all. Morgrim has found the final word, strongest of them all. Well, technically he found the first word, and amazing luck that he found the most powerful one. I came here to warn your people against Morag's return. But the warm bloods do not trust me. <laughs> they I mean, cast me into this dungeon. Eh, they're just suspicious and stupid. Do not waste time trying to free me from this prison. It serves no purpose. Instead, you must help me stop Morag's return before the old ones awake and I am made a world slave once more. Well, I am the protagonist. The fourth word is close. I can feel its power. <laughs> Morgrim and Arabeth brought it here to this city you call Neverwinter. Well, they kind of have to if they need to go to the Source Stone, which is here. Bring the word to me. I am Hadralin, leader of the word slaves. <laughs> With the final word, I can break Morag's power and trap her forever inside the Source Stone. All right, I'll return once I have the final word. You must hurry. With each passing hour, Morag's power grows. Soon, I will not be strong enough to stop my queen from awakening her people. All right, well, we'll take care of that. Alright, so, uh, well, we could talk to the jail guard, but he doesn't have a name, so I don't need to. So, basically, this is the climax of the battles. We're going to go outside, we are going to return to the city core, and we're going to go get that last word. And as you can see... No, there's still people in the city core. We can still enter the temple. Is there anybody? There's Olaf. Please try to keep this conversation short. There are more dead and dying here than I could cure in a lifetime. Uh, your work here is appreciated. There are a few others left who can do what I can do. I pray someone stops this madness before it kills us all. All right, I believe Olaf serves as a shop now, so I need your services. Yeah, he's basically Arabeth from the first chapter. I don't think... I'll uh, do shopping in between episodes just to make sure that we're not uh, spending too much time talking to people we don't have to. Sergal, he serves the recall portal. No, these people have names, but I think they're just NPCs. I greet you. Yep. And the soldiers here are saying the Luskan army doesn't take prisoners. They'll kill us all if they breach the south gates. 
Okay. So yeah, they actually named these important, in well, these not so important NPCs. Uh, oh. Nayatar's still here. May the blessings of Earth Mother Shantia and the Tree Father Sylvanus be upon you in these dark times. So he's another shop. And that means the cloak is still here. So we'll check that out at some point. I... Oh, they're shooting fireballs. Okay, Trade of Blades is still open. Less named people in here. And... None of our companions. Uh, just was looking to see if there was... Oh, uh, Trancar. Well met. You. I know you. You're Kigro Higwood, the paladin who saved Neville Winter from the plague. You honor us, humble servants of the city, with your presence. Alas, it seems the city has need of your aid once again. If we hope to drive these Luskin dogs off, will you join our cause, sir? Uh, cause? What cause? You're fighting the army. I know what cause. I am Trancar, battalion commander of the Neverwinter Militia. My men and I tried to hold the southern section of the city, but Luskin forces overran our position. We are forced to retreat and set up our base here in the city core, but we haven't given up the fight. I still send my men out in small groups trying to slow the Luskin advance through guerrilla tactics. We do what we can, but our numbers are too few. Between the catapults and the war golems, I fear it is only a matter of time before even the city core falls to the Luskin scope. War golems? Catapults? The Luskinites come well prepared. It started with the catapults bombarding us whenever we made a stand, scattering our ranks and formations. But even with flaming pitch falling from the sky, we held our ground and faced our enemy. That's when we met the war golems, and knew we had no hope. The huge monstrosities tore through an entire company in mere seconds, and our weapons can't even make a dent in their rock-hard hides. We need to... we had to fall back. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Normally I'd say one man can't make a difference, but you're no ordinary man. Someone has to take out those catapults and stop those golems. It won't be easy, but you've saved us from the plague. Maybe you could save us from this. Uh, what must be done, Trankar? The catapults are somewhere in the south, in the war zone. Don't know where exactly, seeing how they keep moving them around. If you find them, just kill the soldiers guarding them and smash the catapult to bits. Destroy all three catapults and we'll finally get a break from those boulders raining down on our heads. And the golems? The war golems are a different story. Even you might have trouble going head to head against those brutes. But there's a better way. The war golems are controlled by Luskin mages. Kill the wizards controlling them, and the golems are nothing but expensive statues. And where can I find these wizards? That I don't know. They have to be close enough to control their golems, so they're probably in the southern war zone. But they're smart. They won't be standing out in the open. According to our intelligence reports, Luskin brought two of the Golem Masters with them, one to control the Golems on the east of the battle, and one to control the Golems on the west. It's a lot to ask, Kigro, I know, but you're the only one who can do this. My men and I don't stand a chance. And I'll destroy the Golems and catapults. I'd send my men with you, Kigro, but the more people are at your side, the more likely you are to be seen. Is there something else you need of me? I will help you however I can, though there's little enough I can do, I'm afraid. You uh, cannot uh, win! I have to go now. Good luck to you, Kigro. I shall remain here with my men, organizing what resistance we can against the Luskin invaders. Alright, so that's our first mission of this area, is to destroy some catapults and some golems. Okay... Winter Guard. Loot, loot, get the loot, loot. Alright, and we can make a quick 
That's another guard. It's a strike. We can make another quick stop here into the Moonstone Mask. Not for entertainment, mind you, but there is another quest to pick up here. Uh, Tanith, Tamora. Uh, these two were... Uh, well, one's a Lady of the Night and one's a Man of the Night. Luce is also a Lady of the Night, but she has a quest for me. Please, I beg of you, help my sister. Lisa's just a little girl. I'll help if I can. Uh, thank you, kind sir. I'm so worried about Lisa. Before her mother died from the plague, I promised her I'd watch out for my sister. When Luskin attacked, we tried to sneak out of the city one night, but we couldn't get through. There were Luskin soldiers everywhere. We had to hide while they passed by. We hid for hours, it seemed. I, I must have fallen asleep waiting there in the dark. I didn't mean to, but I was so tired. And when I woke up, Lisa was... She was, she was gone. Uh, where did you last see her? I searched all night, until the dawn came. But there were so many soldiers. If they caught me, I can't go back. I just can't. But poor Lisa. I had to leave her there, wandering around in the war zone and to the south. I had no other choice. Don't worry, I'll bring her back. But she's somewhere in the Luskin war zone, to the south. I know she's still alive. She has to be. Please, bring her back to me. Yep, we'll do that. Trains, I hate trains, cause they're so virgin any of them. Alright, so, um, not really sure, I think Ophala's another store, so I'll check that out later. I know she doesn't give a quest or anything, so I've picked up the two major quests of the area. I wonder if these guys are still here. I could open the door, so I would expect them to be. Okay, and... Yep, there it is. So, in Chapter 1, we came this way to go into the Beggar's Nest. And that's how we started off this adventure, I think. I think I went to the Beggar's Nest first. Ow. Okay, I gotta blow up a cow. Alright, so, the astute of you might see that I have a new cloak, and that is certainly not because I ran face first into a blade barrier cast by a high level cleric and died. That's totally the reason, but here we are. I've looked at all the stores. I have determined that my equipment is the best that it can be right now, so we're going to go straight into this Luskin war zone. So let's start by talking to the... You know what? I don't need to talk to the gate garden garden the gate guard i'm just gonna go right in i do not want to encounter these siege golems because if i remember correctly they are pretty indestructible but i have to find have failed in the task okay so we're gonna come no dalen don't go that way i have to find out where these wizards are because i don't remember i want to think they're back here you know what? We're going to tackle this place from back to front. I shall do as you ask. So first things first, I'm gonna kill this frost giant. You will regret that. Actually, Dalen's going to attack this frost giant. I'm going to take on this cleric because they can do that. Go back to leech now. I said leech, please. Thank you. And Dalen just runs straight into the blade barrier. Okay. Now if I come this way, I believe Lisa is here. Yep. Who are you? You ain't one of them Luskin soldiers, are you? Lucy said to stay away from them because they'd hurt me. 
Are you Lisa? Lucy's little, Lucy's little sister? Lucy is my sister, but I can't get back to her. I'm too scared. I want to go back to the Moonstone Mask. That's where Lucy works. I miss her. It's cold out here and I'm scared at night. It's safe now, Lisa. You can go back to the Moonstone Mask. I can't. Gosh, thanks. You're a real nice man. I can't wait to see Lucy again. Alright. And like most of the other people we have to rescue, we can just send her on her way. She will get there. And the golems will not find her and hurt her. Alright, so... Abandoned house. Ooh, that's a bunch of trained umber hulks. I need... A potion. This one specifically. So that I'm not confused. Okay. <laughs> Daylin, however, is confused, but that's okay. He seems to be handling it quite well. I'll get my scythe back out, because I'm not really worried about Humber Hulks. And I want my weapon specialization to actually matter. I also should have, between the cuts, actually rested so that I had have I could have all my spells back. But I did not. Hey, another wand of lightning. Awesome. Alright, come on, Dalen, let's go find some wizards. Okay, there's that. And there's the snoot. Short summary of the basic plan of attack that the Luskan force is using during its assault on Neverwinter. Arabeth as war leader is commanding the army from Mogram Sanctuary, an extraplanar domain created by Mogram. Supposedly it can be reached via a portal located in a courtyard to the southeast. Uh, the final line reads, Beware the Baylor, for he guards the entrance into Mogram's Sanctuary and will kill all trespassers. Well, not overly worried about Baylors, so... Let's press on and see what we can find. Okay, so this is a pretty decent fight, it looks like. I'm gonna start this off with just a fireball right there. I should catch quite a few of them, attract some attention without getting the spellcasters involved quite yet. Dalen will be afraid as he typically becomes. Alright. Now that's got the cleric. And I just need to interrupt his spells. shield out, because without it, they are hitting the crap out of you. Hey, I'm still getting attacked to opportunity on the spellcaster. That's good. No, no blade barriers. I hate blade barriers. They hurt so much. Okay, and... Alright, another note from the captain. I think all the captains drop one of those notes, so... And that was the last use of my Staff of Power. Kinda sucks. I thought I had another one, but I don't think I do. Probably just sold it. Uh, let's see. But I do have... The ability to switch out a new staff for it. So let's use a staff of command. And we'll set up some charm effects. Uh, charm monster, charm person, and dominate. 
So this might be able to help me out a little bit. Just if I can get a hold of a single spellcaster, they can use their powers against their friends instead of me. Uh, dominate person. You, Captain. Wait. No, he's still uh, not on my side. Alright, well, that was a blade barrier that hurt. Quit moving around so much. Alright, so he's cast a number of spells, but he came within arm's reach of me. It's probably the biggest of mistakes. And I have been abandoned by the music. That's weird. Yeah, dire Mace. Awesome. Some gold. Relatively unnecessary at this point, because I have, as far as I can tell, the best items. Uh, it'll probably be used to buy potions at this point, just because I am going through these cure criticals really fast. And I don't want to use my heal potions until the very end of the game. These Crenshars are pretty easy. They're like big wolf creatures with uh, their skulls exposed. It's really cool. And that's how they do the uh, fear effect, is they pull the skin on their face back, and it just makes people afraid. Okay. I want to get at least one of these golems down, but since I don't remember where they are... I want to believe one of them's over here, but I don't want a chance fighting that golem again. Hey, catapult commander. Oh, right, that's how I tell where they are. Okay, that's a bunch of guys. So, let's uh, attract some of these guys over uh, this way. And there's a another catapult commander. Let's see if we can make him my friend. I believe I have. And he'll go running off to do something. Hey, he's coming back. He'll try and occupy something's time, I guess. Are you attacking? Why did you attack me? I dominated you. Well, we're seeing that dominate doesn't work, so thank you for that. Let's get Leech back out and take another potion. Alright, now I can focus on this giant. Quit drinking my treasure. I need that. Okay, I got the fresh giant. It's a fire. Okay, so what I was reacting to was I forgot the golem control rooms are actually pretty clearly marked. So here's one, and hopefully I'll be able to take out the group. Actually, do I have any... Nope. No special... Oh, I have Ghostly Visage. Let's go ahead and put that on. 
Hey, you have Baylor Lords. Awesome. Okay, I want to get out of range of the wizard. Which I don't think I can actually. That wasn't the wizard, wizard that's the succubus. Okay. And I can't get behind the Baylor. So we're just gonna beat up on him, I guess? He's gonna blow up too, which is slightly crappy. Okay. Need to recover, so I just need a second. Need you. Okay, I'm invisible now. There goes my last potion. Go ahead and take a bark skin. Now I don't remember if this is gonna do anything bad to my invisibility. Area of effect wasn't dispelled, but I'm still invisible. Awesome. Okay. So I am not invisible. All right. Well, now you're relying on fireballs. Okay, get out of that cloud. And I uh, won that by the skin of my teeth. Ah. Okay, what did he have? He had a note. Pretty sure it's the same note I've already seen. He also had this treasure chest over here, which is trapped. So, thank you for that. Success not possible, you say? Well, it's a good thing I have the universal key then. We'll just let that stew for a second. There we go. Take that. And a courtesan blade. Still no leech. Alright, so with that guys, I have completed at least part of the war area. We did fight off some of the Luskin catapult captains. So next time I'll be able to finish off, I think, this area. And uh, then we'll be able to move on. I believe there is basically two more areas after this one. So uh, with that, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you next time on Kigra's Adventures on the Sword Coast.